Before we start with today's video, just a quick disclaimer, this channel is focused on adult coloring. The pictures and the content of this channel are suited towards adults and not intended for any person under 18 years. Thank you for respecting that and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and a very, very happy new year. I wish you all the best for 2023 and now that I'm saying it out loud, I can't believe it's already 2023. Um, didn't we just pass the 2000 mark like yesterday? I don't know. Um, anyway, but I have here a new set of pencils and yes, I said I would not um, add another set of pencils to my collection. Well, they had a really good offer. Um, for the Black Friday, and um, it was just a just a good deal. I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so um, I had these pencils for uh, on my wish list for a while. Um, I don't know. I, I heard good things about them, and I wanted to give them a try. So, yeah, uh, I bought the 120 Castle Arts Gold set, and um, you might now wonder. Um, we have New Year's. Um, and I, I'm talking about Black Friday. Well, <laughs> the thing is, um, they had the Black Friday offer on their website. It was like, I don't know, um, 35 euros, 40 euros, something like that. Um, but it was only on their website on, on Amazon or anything else. There wasn't, there wasn't that big of a discount. So, um, unfortunately the website doesn't ship to the Netherlands. So I uh, decided that I will let it deliver to my mom's house where I can pick it up uh, for Christmas. So that is what I've done. And uh, I took it with me uh, back when we came home from our Christmas break. And uh, yeah, now I am actually, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of excited to, to, to um, unwrap these. So this is how they came, like in this uh, white, uh, uh, what's it called, male envelope thing wrapping thing <laughs> um it had some like uh yeah, it was a bubble wrap it's a bubble wrap i think it had some bubble wrap on the inside let's get away with that one and uh yeah this is how they came i haven't seen them yet either i think i have to s yeah i have them this way um i know i i've i've seen them once um via video chat my mom had to check if everything went well um, but I haven't seen them in person yet, so um, I wanted to give you my honest reaction when I open them. So they come in these cardboard packaging, it says Castle Arts Gold 120 set. A gold standard selection of the finest quality oil-based colored pencils. Hmm. Well, let's see about that. There we go. Oh, wow. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming this one was, um, yeah, this one was supposed to be like, there's a plastic wrap around it. My mom obviously opened it. So that one goes away as well. And look at that box. That box is pretty, like really, really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I can do it like this, but that's really pretty. Sorry for the glare as always. So let's open them. Um, okay. Uh, we have, uh, we have like uh, a color list with all the colors that are added in this set. Um, well, yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I will. I will look up um, another list because I do not like this. This is um, my. Uh, I'm a rainbow person, and my rainbow starts with yellow. So here it starts with green. So <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, so we will fix that um, in a moment. And then we have um, all kinds of stuff. Let's see, what is this? This is color and product guide. Okay, okay, I see. Um, amazingly good at art. Well, they sure know how to phrase things. Um, product range, uh, like other products and sets. 
And we have, oh, there we go. We have a full color selection. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, I will look at that in a moment um, to figure out which one is which and stuff. But that one is actually pretty good to have, so I keep it next to me here. Uh, need any help from the co uh, customer service? Okay, we have that one. We have, I don't know, another product. Yeah, another catalog. Oh no, it's actually, it's actually. Th oh, oh, that's nice. It's actually things that you can do. It's like what kind of pencils you have, and uh, well, what the thing. What, what they were supposed to do, I think. How to sharpen, how to store them. Okay, that's that's actually kind of in-depth uh, information. I'm sorry, I, I can't I can't talk and think at the same time. Okay, you have some color theory. You have uh, how to the color wheel, how to uh, get some effects done, pressure and stuff. So this one. Um, oh, you have also blending opportun uh, uh, solutions and blending stuff. How to options? How to blend? Um, okay, so th so this one this one reminds me a lot of uh, the Faber Castell um, booklet that they have inside their pencils as well. Um, though this one seems to be a little bit more detailed. I don't know. I have to look at this very closely soon. The Faber Castell ones have also a little booklet. It's like um, they also have tips and tricks and what how to use them and that sort of stuff. So I do appreciate that if brands do that. So okay, what is this? This is a step-by-step -step guide to creating the Castle Gold Freeze, Freeze, Freeze. Anyone know how this is pronounced? I would say it's Freeze, but who knows? Okay, how to. Pr um, what is it actually? I don't know what it is. So uh, it's another. Okay, here's more information about brands and product range, range and stuff. And okay. Oh, okay. I see. Um, so. Okay, I see. Basically, all the pictures that are on the box you can basically recreate with the, these pencils, and they say how to. They give you tips and tricks how to achieve those effects. And yeah, but I'm not the one who's... Oh, okay, yeah, right. Here it says download these templa templates from the website and create amazing art. Okay, I get it. Right. Um, okay, I might do that for the butterfly because that one is actually really pretty. The butterfly and maybe the, the, the two parrots. But um, yeah, we go on, shall we? So this one goes here. Okay, we have a gold range color, pe color pencil tester sheet. I do appreciate if brands do that. Also, you can fold it, which is really nice. Um, but I am I think I will do my own, uh, I will do my own um, range of colors. I don't know yet. Anyway, this one goes here and there we go. We have another, I don't know, was it parchment paper or something? And here we have the pencil. Wow, look at the, oh, look at them. They are very pretty. Um, wow, <laughs> what can I say? Um, they do come in these horrible flimsy plastic trays, but they do have a, a yeah, what's it called, a, a, a rubber thing? What is it? Is it actually rubber? Yeah, it's elastic, like an elastic band to pull them up. Is that what you call it? I'm kind of speechless right now. Um, no. And I already see a manufacturer error, so this one is obviously not supposed to be. It kind of gives a cool effect, though. Let me see. Yeah, this one is obviously not the way it's supposed to be, but it, it looks pretty darn good. I don't know. Can you see it? Like this? This looks actually pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I really like this error. Um, yeah, so let's go further. Oh yeah, there's the rest. Okay, so um, I do notice there is a lot of browns, a lot of browns, um, some grays, some metallics, I think. This one is metallic, at least it looks like it. It's a silver. Oh, it's a graphite, it's graphite. Okay, but it looks like metallic, so. Um, what 
like this. Cobalt blue D. Okay. Okay. I really have to, to look at, at the color selection and the color range. Um, overall, the first impression is really good. I mean, I can do it one more time. They feel very light, these pencils. They do feel very light, but still they feel sturdy. They feel thicker than the average pencil, I would say. It, I don't know. Do they have, they, I don't think they have a 3.9 millimeter core. Um, let's see. Can we find that out? I don't know. Um, let's check. Um, no, it doesn't say. I would say they are. I would say they are normal, normal, like normal color pencil leads, like with your average Crayola lead. I don't think they have a um, 3.9 millimeter. Um, <coughs> They do feel thick though, like they're definitely thicker than, mm, yeah, they're slightly thicker than a Prismacolor. I don't know, you, I, you can't really show that on, on camera, but I can I can feel it. Um, but yeah, so far they, they feel, feel really good. Also, I do like the fact that they have dipped color ends, even though we will, we will find out if, if that, that color matches, matches the actual lead. Um, I do like that they are numbered um gp probably for the gold pencil i think they have uh names here and numbers i don't know if you can see that it's probably hard to read on camera but they have uh names and numbers they have castle art and gold it looks very elegant it looks very yeah very chic very chic pencils yeah very elegant pencils okay um Right, I would suggest we are going to swatch them. So I will first try to find a good um, color order online. I feel like these are in pretty good order, like these ones also. There are not much blues though, now that I'm looking at it. Not much blues, I don't like that. We need blues, ladies and gentlemen, we need blues. So I might do this one, I don't know. Are these blues? These are blues? Yeah, these are blues. I don't know why they are here, but they're supposed to be here somewhere. Um, I might switch up the order a little bit. Um, also, one second. I do have bought a case for them. It's just one of those typical, like, uh, like pencil cases. If I can get it out, yeah. Oh. There are things flying around. Why are why are there things flying around? Interesting. Um, what is this? Stones or something? I don't know. Okay, but so I have bought a pencil case and I will sort them in there while I am swatching them. So uh, yeah, you will see that both happening at the same time probably. Also, I might paint this like. I don't know, in a glitter color or something to separate it from my other black pencil case, but we will see. We will see. Um, yeah, that is for the next part of the video. So I will, I will um, speed through it because we don't want to be here the whole day. And we already have like 15 minutes on the clock. So I will speed through that process. And um, yeah, I will see you after these pencils have been sorted and swatched.
these are the pencils uh, swatched. Um, I'll be honest, this color order is not perfect. I had to do it all myself because I couldn't find anything free on the internet. And I'm not willing to pay three, two or three euros for something I can come up myself. Well, I'm obviously not a, an expert. Um, but one second, I will zoom you out. Um, but yeah, this is the color order I came up with. Not perfect. Not have very happy with it. But it's okay. I can manage. Um, I feel like uh, most of the tones are where they belong. They're maybe not in the perfect uh, order. But at least the yellows are with the yellows. The reds are with the reds. You get it. Um yeah, well, I swatched these and I have to say I'm not very impressed with these. Um, okay, I have no, <laughs> I have to say different. They they are very pigmented and they go down almost smoothly, but they are also a little bit scratchy. And that was one of the issues I had with the first Castle Art pencils. And to be fair, the, the coloring experience reminds me a lot of the original Castle Arts, which makes me question that these are actually oil-based pencils because I would expect them to be a little bit harder considering that there is less wax in it. At least that's my logic, but anyway. Um, the color selection is good, I guess. I mean, I miss a good amount of blues. I miss more reddish tones. Um, like, this one is supposed to be a vermilion, but I wouldn't say that is that is a vermilion at all. Um, I would more say probably like a classic red. Um then we have these two Venetian blues here, which I would say they're not even blues. They're more on the purple side or maybe on the gray side. Um, I hate... I, I did this one with the big color chart I had. And here they said... Um, what was it? Number 45. Uh, they said number 45... I'm, I'm just trying to find it on, this, on the chart. Is Indigo Light. And afterwards comes the Ultramarine Light, which is this one. Um, this one. It's obviously not an ultramarine. It's like more on the purple side. I don't know if it's visible on camera, but in real life, uh, yeah, I'm. I don't. I don't like this. You know, um, this is supposed to be a mint. Mint, and this is mint light. How come mint light is darker than the normal mint? I know I'm very picky here, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, I, I can. I can go on and complain here a little bit more, but. Overall, I feel like the color selection is okay-ish. It's it's good. I mean, like I said, I'm missing blues and some more reds, less purples. Um, but that that's something personal. Um, they are a little bit scratchy, but they lay down okay-ish. They are pigmented, so I guess um, that will be fine. I will try them out on a better paper. Maybe it is the the uh, what's it called the I'm missing the words. <laughs> um, create space paper that's it so maybe it is the paper i don't know um we will see but overall they remind me a lot of the original castle arts and also they remind me a little bit of the art x pencils because they have also a very strange color selection somehow they also do look a little bit like the artisas makes me question if they are all uh fabricated in the same area i don't know um there has been a video I, I I think I talked about it in an earlier video. There has been someone I can't remember her name. I'm sorry, um, but she made a whole video about this whole oil-based wax-based thing, and it turns out that a lot of the oil-based or a lot of the pencils claiming to be oil-based are actually just the same wax as always because oil is translated wrong or for fat, something like that. Um, so I think this is one of those sets where they claim they are oil-based and I would not say that they are. But again, um, I will try it out. Um, you know, my coloring sheet, it is the uh, freebie from Agota Pop from, I don't know, two years already ago. Um, yeah, almost two years ago. We still have two pictures left, so... Um, I feel like we could do at least one more pencil, <laughs> probably. Um, we could do another watercolor pencil, maybe. Um, we will see. But, uh, since I don't really feel like... I don't feel like this one or that one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Let me just quick, quick check, uh, with the, with these swatches. I think I would go... Yeah, I think I would go with this one. 
yeah, I will go with this one. And then we have one more left for another pencil set. Um, who knows? Maybe I find a pencil set somewhere in the depth of my, I don't know, uh, shelf somewhere. Who knows? Um, anyway, I will speed, I will color this one. I will speed through this process as always. And I will speak afterwards after I colored it. <laughs> colored this picture oh, it doesn't say which pencils I used let me just fix that and um, yeah well um, uh, my hand hurts I don't know how that happened but my hand just basically feels like I'm cr my hands cramping Never had that with any pencil before, at least not that I know of. Um, I don't really know what I feel about about the the fact that my hand hurts. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't enjoy these pencils. Um, they are crumbly, they are scratchy, um, and exactly that was the reason why I got rid of the castle art the regular ones so i wanted to give them another chance and um with the, with the well same brand different uh different product sometimes we do have those you know sometimes another brand uh, another product from the same brand works out well um it's a little bit dusty i'm sorry but this time it didn't i'm very sorry but i am already thinking about selling them so um i am happy that i didn't pay full price i mean i I looked I, I forgot to look it up so um I think I, I paid like 35 euros or something which is almost halfway down to the regular price which I'm very happy I did not pay I would be very, really mad if I would have paid full price for these um I can imagine that there are people that like these type of pencils um in the end pencils are something very personal and I can totally understand if you say like you oh, no no I I do like them that's that's absolutely fine um, I do not. <laughs> and um, 
I don't think it did happen. Um, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't think it did happen with one of these first impressions that I disliked a pencil that strong immediately. Um, and I'm kind of surprised by my own reaction. But while I was coloring, I already felt like I want to... I want to sell them. I want to get rid of them. They are not my pencils. I don't know. Like I said, um, maybe it is... Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is the, the fact that they are scratchy. That I feel like my my hand... I, I needed to use some force to get it down to the paper. They did behave a little bit better on this paper than the other. Um, but like, still, it's like... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... I do not like them. There is nothing really wrong with them besides that they don't really blend I mean they blend but not seamlessly I feel like other pencils do that better um the color selection is good the color lay down is okay they they bring color down they're not super super scratchy but a little bit scratchy um I don't know it's just I don't know um I kind of regret buying them to be fair and um I regret that I uh wasted three pages in my swatch book um but honestly i wasn't expecting that so uh yeah i will i will figure something out maybe i will color a full picture with them in one of the coloring books and decide then but right now um i do not like them um i i think the color i don't know the color selection is okay but i feel like there are other budget pencil brands that make much better um, pencils. Like um, I do like the Bruchfinder Squares. Um, the Faber Castell Black Edition is really good. Uh, I do like. Um, let me think. Um, I do like the Artisas very much. I do like the uh, Giotto Still Novos, even though they have less colors available. There are much pen much more pencil brands that are cheaper and, in my opinion, better. Um, also. I feel like they have very similar color selections. Like I said earlier, I feel like they are they are manufactured with a lot of other but but budget pencil brands in the same factory or something. Um, at least that's what I would assume. So yeah, uh, unfortunately disappointed by the Castle Arch Gold. I was I had high hopes for these. I was expecting a little bit more. Um, I am obviously disappointed, and I feel like I need to justify myself for it but uh, t I don't know what to say besides yeah that's too bad I uh, kind of disappointed so um, yeah uh, I don't have anything good to say about no, no that's that's not true I do I I can say something good about these but pencils like they are pigmented um, but the fact that I had to come up with my own color order I hate when you have to do that I hate when um, companies are not in state to just put them in rainbow order or at least in a little bit like order that makes sense um, that was already the, the strike one um, then I, I feel like my hand cramping strike two and then just the scratchiness is strike three that's just not something I enjoy uh, so um, enough rambling I do appreciate all the information material around the pencils. I haven't looked at them yet properly. I, I, I briefly took a look off camera and um, they are pigmented. So I can see that people who don't blend as much as I do probably can enjoy these pencils. Maybe I do have high expectations to a pencil. I don't know. Maybe it's my fault, but these were a total fail. And... Um, yeah, I'm disappointed. It's just... We probably won't get to be friends. So, yeah. That being said, I... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I leave it up to you to make up your own mind, I guess. Uh, you've seen how they behave. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to, to end the video on a good note. <laughs> um, I I really don't know what to say except... Well, that's too bad. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you are not, um, I don't know, uh, scared away by my negativity today. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
I'm still speechless about them, to be fair. I'm, I'm really speechless that I dislike a pencil that much. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you had to say something to the Castle Arts Gold or anything else, please leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you. And even though I'm not as super active on YouTube and um, Instagram at the moment, I'm still here and I'm listening. So if you um, if you want to say something, if you want to leave me a comment, if you want to shoot me a message, just do that. I am still here. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You, then you will get notified when I upload a new video, which will hopefully be much more positive. I uh, promise the next video will will be more positive than this one. Um, yeah, come follow me on Instagram. It's the same name as my channel name. And um, I wish you a very happy day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.